the other. Hello and welcome to uh, Saturday Night Live Carving. Um, slightly different to the normal uh, Monday Night Carving. Um, I'm going to be carving or finishing carving Bruce Lee. Um, the image that I am carving is this one. Um, I'm carving this 3D, obviously. So uh, he's going. He's out of cedar of Lebanon. Um, is very brittle. Has broken on me a few times already so far. Um, but there you go. There he is at the moment. Still quite a way to go. You can see the arm. Oh, that arm. No, that arm. It's completely out. So that still needs quite a bit of work. Um, so what I'll do is bring in my earworms for tonight and then get them to say hello. <gasps> you caught me. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. So, we have Wayne the Woodturner and the Beard 16. Richard, thank you ever so much, gentlemen, for um, being the worms for the year this evening. Um, I will pop you off screen again. Thanks, gents. Um, no I will drop my camera down, stick myself on mute, and I will just get <clears throat> smashing on with this bad boy. So if you let us know who, if anybody is in the chat... That would yeah, be we've got a couple of cool. There's a new one, Dandelion Creations. I've never come across. Uh, oh, you know, <coughs> yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's very good. He's up and coming. His last video, I think, just not his last video, a couple of videos ago, just about went um, viral. It was um, oh, cool. Oh, god, I always dandelion stick it in there. I always forget the name of that table. I shall. Ten Centricity, something like that. I'll have a little look at. Uh, is it he? She? He? he is it? He? I'll have a look at his channel now. So at the moment we've got Mark in. Good evening, Mark. Uh, obviously yourselves in, Rich. Uh, Herb's in. Hi, Herb. Um, Dandelion Creations. Uh, Larry's in. Hi, Larry. Uh, Mike, the Midnight Joker. <laughs> Tensegrity, that's the word. Tensegrity. Is that the infinity mirror table? Is that the... No, the, no. The, what it is, the, 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 the tensegrity, it's, it's, like one of the, it's like an illusion. It sort of sits there itself. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm already subscribed to you, um, Danny. <clears throat> so, I used to have a body, well, I've still got a body like Bruce Lee, you know. It's just hiding under all this fat. Yeah, it's just hidden, yes. Under, oh. all, the, under all the blubber. Mike saying the thumbnail was from Enter the Dragon. Yes, it was. Yes, classic film, that. Enter the Dragon, That's uh, that was my favourite. It still is my favourite of his films. Uh, that's the new one, my sub-special. Okay. I shall have a look at that. Oh, oh actually, it's a... Uh, oh, that's right. It's the 5,000 sub-special. And it comes out next month, the 4th of... Oh, actually, no. Premiere's today, 7 o'clock. Ah. What have you been up to today then, Rich? I've been um, continuing with the new chicken run. All right. Um, I don't know if you've seen the old, well, the one we built recently. That's yes. gone now. Yeah. Totally taken right. that down. Um, we've pulled all the all the plastic off the, uh, the warm room, which was 10 by 6, 10 by 8. Um, 
Oh, we've made a, a great big pen. I think they've got 127 square feet now or something like that. Oh, very good. So, so it's just uh, dealing with the aftermath of moving everything around because you, you, you know, <laughs> you know, you make such a mess. Yeah. Oh, Nick's How about in. You? Evening, Nick. Evening, Nick. Me, I've, I've been uh, just prepping some wood. I'm going to be practicing some thread chasing at some point tomorrow. Oh, nice. I'll keep looking. I, I, you know, I'd love to get one of those thread, chase, thread chasing tool, tool, tools um, so I could make some little GPS lidded boxes. Yeah. Um, Mark, would you? How do you even ask that question? I mean, that's just common knowledge. Chuck Norris wins every fight. Well, he didn't in. Uh, forgetting the name of the movie now. Yeah, but that, that, that he let him, didn't he? He let him win. No, did he no. help? I mean, Chuck Norris. I mean, you've heard you've heard what Chuck Norris does when uh, he, he does press ups and stuff. He just pushes the world down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this little ball this little sphere i made last night wayne uh it was literally just to see how quick i could make it with sharp tools and i made this in well i i got the first form before cutting it off and turning it around to in a couple of minutes at the, at the, at, you know nothing really <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Norris doesn't have a chin, he just has another fist. Another fist. <laughs> I'm interested to see how you're going to get on with that face because it's really detailed on, on that um that wood and is it um spalted is it no that's the green <clears throat> oh okay yeah yeah that's that's just the natural oh, green of yeah, the cedar see. oh it's cedar all right okay <clears throat> the da vinci now whew, that is really impressive that's um i don't know if there's has anyone seen that yet i don't know what's that and da vinci I don't think so. Um, oh, well. um, Dale is in, and he's um, chatting in the chat from e and &E at East Surrey Hospital. Oh, dear. Oh, we've seen you, I'd imagine. <clears throat> no, no, it's, um, it's his, his left, I think it's his left arm. It's, it's swollen up something chronic. Oh. Kung Fu Mike. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope it's not uh, too bad. Well, I should say, I hope it's not bad, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, not bad. No. Yeah, I hope it's not bad. I think he probably got his hand stuck in his pocket when he was trying to get some money out. Probably, yeah, yeah. It was one, you know what? It was one of them monkey things where you, how you how you catch a monkey, they can get yeah. the hand into something, and then when they grab <laughs> onto it, they can't get the fist back out. Yeah, I think that's yeah. probably what it was. It probably you know upset Sinyi again, and she's giving him a a, a whack. <laughs> So <laughs> Mark says, don't worry, Rich, we've taken care of just about every joke possible, R.E. Dale. <laughs> yeah, and deal, deal soon if it gets any worse, they might have to oh. be in it. All right. It's obviously um, got a lot of infection there and it's holding a lot of fluid. Yeah, that's what he's saying. It's heavily infected, Scott. Oh, hello, Scott. <laughs> um, hey, Scott. Never saw Scott come in. Oh, he's got Jaffa elbow. That's what it is. 
<laughs> so, what lessons do you have to them, Rich? Um, well, just what we was discussing. That, that, that you know what what you've noticed that I'm doing wrong because obviously you know I'm self-taught, and if I'm doing stuff wrong, then I you know you can help me by improving my wood turning. By so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just do a, a streamyard one then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty much everything then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like I, I I don't because I'm self-taught, I don't know when I'm doing things wrong. I'm only doing things that work for me or sometimes they don't work, but I don't know another way of doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that that would help a lot. Right. Uh, well, certainly, um, I showed Stace how to do the water drop thing in the private stream yard. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's it, you know doing it a one to one, internet wise, it's just as easy doing it um, through stream yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I say, you know, I don't know if I'm doing things wrong, and I'm doing things through, you know. Uh, when I started turning, there was no YouTube. There was only books of old men, um, you know, turning beautiful wood. Yeah. But it's only so much you can learn from reading and looking at pictures. That's the way that was the same as me when I started turning. Yeah. I mean, there was there was years in between. I mean, I haven't been turning every single day for twenty years. Do you know what I mean? There's there's been years where I haven't had a lathe. So, well, thank you, Mark. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, I really appreciate it, Wayne. Anyway. Grand, we'll get something set up. I'll, it'll really, all, it's all going to depend on what Jane's got on our list for us yeah. this next week. Well, I'm busy all week. Um, right. And I'm going up to the Midlands on Friday. So okay. I won't be back until next Tuesday. All right, um, okay. So I might need to get someone to cover me next week um, on the... Uh, on YouTube. Right. <clears throat> oh, Barry's not this, in. Not this Tuesday, Barry. the Tuesday after. The Tuesday after. Yeah. Where's JP? Oh, I thought Dan JP would be in. I don't know. Dandelion saying, has anyone made a comprehensive what you need, how to get going in wood turning video, or can you point me to one? Off the top of my head, I don't think anybody has. Um, right, I, I don't know. I, I don't know where you are, Dandelion, and I know the, uh, we are still in lockdown at the moment. Um, but see if there's any local wood turning clubs close to you, and when things open up again, go <laughs> along for a, a visit and get some advice from the turners at the club. You've also got a Mark. Um, uh, sorry, um, Mark. Uh, if that's directed at me, I think I'd actually left at that point. I had to go and do something, so I think I'd actually left uh, at that point. Yeah, what you've you've also got to uh, take into account that um, depends where you go. I mean, you've always going to have real snobby people that will yes. only advise you on this and that because it's their yeah. own opinion. But yeah. you can go to, to different ones and you can kind of learn from yourself. Don't take one person's um, word for it because they might just be really snobby. <laughs> yeah. And they um, might have uh, uh, deep pockets too. Mark Mark has put in the, in the chat there, Worth the Effort did one. That's a, a channel, Dandelion, Worth the Effort. If you check that channel out, Mark's saying that he did one. All right. Um, 
Larry, I could do that. I mean, it depends if anyone will watch. Uh, uh, me just, Michelle just babbling on about anything. <laughs> I remember that I did a, a live from the car um, when I was coming back from Dale's, I think, after I, it or was, was it after it I, was. I picked JP up from the, the, it was, it was either, it was either yeah. no, you, you did one driving through um, a rainstorm, you and Cheryl. That's it. That's when I dropped That's JP it. home. Yes. I picked him up from the airport and took him home. Because uh, he couldn't get to, he couldn't get home in any other way, so. But yeah, well, we could do that again. Right, hang on. Um, I'll, I'll just um, I'll find that channel and link it in, Daniel Lyon. <laughs> I read that wrong, Daniel Lyon. I, I read, can someone link the channel? It's nosy where I am. <laughs> oh, so a sexy nurse is going to deal with Dale. So he's got to go. Oh, well, that'll, that'll not be me then. Oh, you poor guy. <laughs> I still need you to send that link, Andy, of where you you uh because you said that there's a place in Bournemouth now that is um doing those bits, isn't there? Oh, so the sexy nurse is a male. <laughs> right, I've just put the link into Worth the Effort, a YouTube channel. Cool. So are you um, going until 8 o'clock, Andy? Just put your thumb up or thumb down and... I don't think he can hear us. He did. He put his thumb up. Did he? Yeah. Oh, what did he do? So I'm watching on the, the, the live, not the stream yard. Sorry, mate. All right. <laughs> See, yeah, so if you're in A&E, Normally, you're in there for about four or five hours in pool. Um, you could get a lot of live streams in then, couldn't you? Watching live sure. streams. Uh, oh. Yes, Mike. And Andy is working from a picture. It's uh, one of the classic uh, pictures from um, End of the Dragon. So, guys, if you haven't hit the thumb, please hit the thumbs up and share this out. Let's get some more people in. I'm just about to share it now on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, um. and Twitter as well. There you go, Andy. I've tweeted it on Twitter. I was actually thinking about your downdraft table, Andy. I'm thinking if you was to cut the centre out of it, then you could have two different um, <coughs> tops. You could have the original top that I put on there for you for doing 
um, polyester because it's got small holes. And then you could do you could have another top that goes on with um, bigger holes. Because obviously I, I noticed the other day that you um, the sawdust wasn't going through those little holes in your video. <clears throat> Thanks, Mark. Mark shared it on Facebook and Twitter too. Midnight Joker, I've got a autograph copy of Tao of Jeet Kune Do. Yeah, Tao of Jeet Kune Do. Okay. Not saying I'm a Bruce Lee geek or anything. <laughs> I remember when Jackie Chan came out and it was just madness. It was, it was like Bruce Lee that was funny. <laughs> Larry said he would share it, but everybody know he knows is already in the chat. <laughs> New airbrushes arrived the other day. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, you just bought some of the same because you've got a few of those, haven't you? The the um... yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, but I was needing new ones, so I just bought another set of six from Wish. All oh, right. I used to do um, petrol tanks and um, uh, helmets and things like that. Oh yeah, uh huh. Uh, and I had this beautiful airbrush. It was uh, stainless steel. Um, the the refill cap was on top, so it was just easy to just keep refilling it. You know. Um, yeah. I lent it to my brother and then he lost it <laughs> so that was the end of my airbrushing because it was just it would have been too expensive to to replace it you know yeah and those um those black cheap ones with the glass jars oh they're just terrible aren't they <clears throat> well you Plastic. get in the in this in the set <coughs> In the set you get from Wish, there's two uh, with the the cup on top. Yeah. There's two uh, side mounted glass ones that get screwed on, and there's two of the just the the push on glass ones from underneath. Yeah. But so are they the plastic? You... The plastic uh, no, pens? No. Oh, good. No, yeah. the, no, no. They're all they're all steel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Chris Walters is in. How you doing, mate? Hey, Chris. <laughs> yes, it's me, Chris. I'm talking. Um, Mark says, did you replace your brother? Is yes, I should have, shouldn't I, Mark? <laughs> I should have. I've, I've got some pictures on my Facebook from years ago. when I Because I, I used to do uh, guns as well. I used to airbrush guns. So I'd uh, take just a normal black rifle. Um and airbrush woodland effect on there by hand all right instead of sticking all this you know plastic and stuff i just i'd do it by hand <clears throat> that was a long time ago that was about four like dpm seven. um yeah dpm and also woodland so uh leaves right. and you know and tweaks and stuff like that yeah 
Uh, Chris is asking what's going on. Uh, Andy is carving brutally, Chris. Oh, I don't know. That might have been about what's going on here, or it might have been a personal question for you, uh, Richard. Uh, um, I don't know. Well, you've just answered one way, uh, and I'll answer the other. So uh, not a lot, Chris. Just um, sorting my chickens out, as I usually am. The Bennett uh, family farm. But... Uh... <laughs> Not a lot. See, so you could put a ball, like a glass ball, in his hands, and they make it look like he's shooting. So like that. that's just too much, isn't it? Well, if you, um, I know you, you've already turned this for your free hand. Yeah. But if you go and have a look at um, Paul Lockwood's channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He gives a, a very good explanation in one of his videos on how to be using measurements and things for doing a, a sphere freehand. All oh, right, yeah. Um, I think who was it, Jim? Jim Overton did one as well. I think. Yeah, I think he did. Where it, yeah. He explains the mathematics behind it. Yes, he does. Yeah. Mm. But I just uh, just do it by eye. Um, yeah, so do I. And it's, you know, I'm not saying I'm brilliant, but it's not hard. I can't, you know, it's not hard at all, is it? Not really, no. It's just practice. Yeah. Oh, well, Chris has been turning birdhouses. Nice. Oh, yes, I've seen um, his birdhouses and his pens. Chris is very new to wood turning, guys, if you don't know who Chris is. Um, yeah, so the stuff I've seen that uh, he's been getting up to is really cool. Good. Andy, did you use that tool on his head to get that really smooth? No. Oh, okay. No. Because it also almost looks like it's, you know, it could uh, shave it like um, a skew, you know. Mike saying the grain is looking a little troublesome. Uh, I think it has been throughout the day, Mike, to tell you the truth. Um, Andy was saying before we started that he, he's had a, already had a couple of mishaps. Yeah. And if you, you see head. from the, yeah, if you see from the, the picture when Andy goes round again, you'll see a couple of cracks at the back of the skull. Yeah. And there's a big one across his shoulders there and right up his spine. He's been in a battle of you, hasn't he? Oh, Huey, see, I didn't notice Huey coming in either. Hey, no, I, didn't see, I didn't see Huey come in. Oh. oh, so you sold your first birdhouse. That's good. Well done. I wonder if Andy's caught his fingers on that. So that looks like 
it could possibly make you cry. I don't know. It looks, I don't, it looks like he's got a plaster on. <laughs> What are those lot those cracks? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what you should have done, Andy. You made it like a mannequin's face, like um, just smooth, just to see if anyone could see who it was by just the just the stance. <laughs> I don't think it would have been hard, would it? I don't think so. Because <laughs> that's a famous stance, isn't it? That's the stance that everyone took when I used to go fighting at school. <laughs> Not that I fight a lot at school, but everyone thought they were Bruce Lee when I was at school. And most of the time, it's just to try and scare their opponents off. <laughs> I probably thought I was Bruce Lee at one point when I was young. I knew the dialogue to that put them off my heart at one point. Everybody was kung fu fighting, yeah. Yeah. I'm not old enough to remember that song, Mark. Well, you are because it came out after this <laughs> movie did. <laughs> I think it was 1974, 1975 that song came out. Oh, see, I was born in 75. All right. See, I saw this movie when it first came out. All right. See, I grew up with my dad watching, um, you know, like these kung fu films where there was, there was, it was dubbed. Yeah. Um, and they'd like, you know, you remember uh, Monkey? Yeah. Um, that used to scare me, that did, with the piggy bloke. <laughs> that, used to, that, that traumatized me, that did, with that piggy. Oh, and Monkey was a bit, we'll, you yeah. know. We've just got a, a one from Deal. His temperature's up. His arm is resembling either Popeye or a pro league gooner. Oh God! I wonder what he did. did is there any? He does, he, no, he doesn't know. It, it just started swelling up the other night. Um, it was manageable pain wise yesterday, and then it swelled up again overnight. What his whole arm? Or just yeah, his... he's left. Uh, it's, I think it's, I'm sure it's his left arm that he's done. All oh, right. He put he put a picture up in um, the the group chat earlier on, and uh, it is uh, pretty pretty big. Yeah. Andy, you frozen, oh, mate. Tom, he oh, no, do yeah. yeah, it's right. It's really um, yeah. Tommy's uh, Tommy Dunn's in. He's just saying hello before he sets off home. From, I'm taking Hi, that from work. Hi, Tommy. I never saw a Kentucky Fried movie, Mike. I saw. I, I did in the early seventies. I watched a hell of a lot of um, kung fu movies. Oh, Andy's back. Oh, Audio's yeah. off, Andy. Oh, now he's for us. Oh, now we're back again. I was just checking to see if uh, changing the camera would. Uh, 
is that still frozen to you guys? No, no, that that well, I'm I'm, I'm, rocking I'm, I'm from watching side on, to side. I'm watching on Streamyard, yeah. Andy, and it's okay. It's yeah, it's okay, yeah, it's oh, okay, okay now. It's okay now. You just need to pedal your internet faster, Andy. Okay. I'll go back then. Yeah, well, it's probably because other people are watching yeah. things. Oh, he, no, Tommy, he's, he's just gone home now. He's been fishing. He's been out fishing all day. I remember oh, that nice. from earlier on, Tommy. Oh, we are fishing last week. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so, deal, an absolute deal's, off, deal's off for an x ray in case it's mechanical and then inflamed. Uh, but the doctor reckons it's an infection. There has been people uh, today having problems with YouTube. I know Ed Oliver had huge problems this morning. Uh, I think Pete from Twisted Trees was trying to do a live over lunchtime and uh, he, he froze up as well. Hmm. Yeah. I agree, Danny. Danny Lyon Creation says, fingers crossed for you, Dale, at Maple. Yep, definitely. Dale. I think that goes for everybody. Yeah, it keeps freezing for me, actually, on StreamYard. So for a bit, and then it all did get a little bit glitchy. See, whenever that happens, I always assume it's my end. It's my internet's rubbish. Well, we've got good internet here. So, um, even though everyone in the house is probably streaming something, you know, all three kids, um, it's usually good. Oh, David's in. I never saw David coming either. David McKernan. Oh, hi, David. Oh, it could be an insect bite. We have a fly down here. Andy would know which it is. It's called the Blanford fly. Um, and it's a horrible thing. It bites you and you... I mean, I don't think it swell your whole, whole arm up, but it's nasty. It makes you really yeah. unwell. Uh, Steve's in, <coughs> SK. Evening, Steve. Well, I, I think as soon as tell he's, he's been seen by a dog at e and &E, they would have been able to see if it was an insect bite from somewhere. Yeah. Are you heavily insured, Dale? <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, it could be uh, poison. <laughs> No, uh, Dandelion's shooting off to sort out stuff for his premiere. I think Dandelion's got a premiere at seven. I think it is. Oh, Keith's in. Evening, Keith. Evening, Keith. I've just got to run to the bathroom, guys. Back in the morning. Yeah, no problem. So Steve from SK Crafts has been having a bit mess about with Joe Sonia paints today and also the stone effect spray paint. Been a hell of a lot of years since I used that, Steve. A hell of a lot of years. Oh, David's just finished off building another workbench.
<laughs> Stop it, Steve. You'll give him a complex when he gets back. DLC and now he gets 700, 570 megabits per second. So what did you do to the late then, Mark, to make it quieter? Or did you not do anything? He's been using some white grease on his, oh, I'll take it, that's on the bearings, he's been using that. <coughs> right, I'm back. Uh, yes, Steve, it is messy, that uh, spray-on uh, stone effect paint. Oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you were saying nice said. things. <laughs> I, I said he'll be giving you a complex. <laughs> yeah. So Mike is making a twist drill sharpener, uh, uh, which was fit on the Pro Edge table. Might be a prototype, because I haven't seen anything similar. I think all you need to do for that, um, that type of thing, Mike, if you can get the, the sort of, you know, the, the, the compound angle across the, the point of the drill bit, and then try and set the table, oh, there's part of the hand just broken off. Mm -hmm. That will glue back on. It's a clean cut. Yeah, if you can get the compound angle for the the drill, and you should be able to set the table up, just to actually turn the drill while it's while you present it to the pro edge. That's annoying. I expected, but annoying. Wow, for subs. Uh, good advertising for Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. I just rate that really good, that stuff. Brilliant. It is. That's why I'm endorsing it. Not sponsored, just saying it's probably the best stuff out there. See, we're starting to get his... I'm starting to make the hand shape. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, if anything, I was expecting the elbow to go. Yeah, well, I was it. Hand. It was starting to flex, and I was like, mm. <laughs> "Here we go." <laughs> I'll tell you what you need, Andy. You need one of those real. You know, it's like a. It's similar to a belt sander, but it's really thin, isn't it? It's like ten mil wide, and it's 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 like I can't remember what they're called now. The power uh, sander, flat and decker power sander. Yeah, it's really thin, isn't it? Yes. And it's, oh, he's got yeah, one. That's it. He's got one. <laughs> that's actually a really good shout. Thank you for reminding me that that was actually on the shelf. <laughs> I'm just yeah, thinking that, cool. you know. Mike, Mike has said he's been doing lots of research on the, the drill sharpener. 59 degrees across the V block and 12 degrees to the table. He's done lots of research on it. Well done, Mike. I, knew, I probably knew you would have done. Yeah, I'll send all uh, all my drills over to you then. <laughs> right, I'll mute myself again. Right, is he okay. is he glued back on? Close enough. Yeah. You can use activator on that stuff as well, Andy. You don't need to. It glows it dry so quick. It does, okay. yeah. Oh, <clears throat> let me screw the lid back on. 
Right, is everyone cool in the chat? Hi, everybody. Yeah. Everybody's good. We've got 19, 19 people in the chat. 11 thumbs up. Gee, thanks, guys. The other eight of you. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, cool. Right, I'll get cracking. I'm actually waiting for Gorilla Glue to get back in touch. Um, because they're because of all this COVID 19 and things like that, the person that I would usually deal with as we move to a different uh job. So, as soon as I uh I found out, find out who I'm dealing with now, I should be doing a giveaway. Have some gorilla stuff. Steve's saying he spent two months sharpening his drill bit since the start of his apprenticeship. <laughs> he doesn't he'll ever forget how to sharpen a drill bit. <laughs> well, that's how apprenticeship should start, isn't it? You know, with the uh, the basics. Well, Eva's in. Good evening, Hi. Eva. Hi, Eva. Yeah, oh. that's what apprenticeships are about. This is it, yeah. It's this like Steve it. Jones, you know, the, the, the wood turner, Steve Jones. Yeah. The production wood turner. Um, his granddad used to watch him make one cut for months on end until he got it right, and then he went on to another cut. All right, that's, that's good, though. <clears throat> So it's a day to have red wine, Eva says. <clears throat> I'm not sure we're going to forgive you for being 40, uh, 46 minutes late. We'll have to think about that. Yes, Eva, cheers. See, that's what I've always been told, Steve. The What's angle, uh, the angle of a um, a nut. Is that what you're trying to say? If you get it to M to yeah, ten millimeter um, nuts. Put them together. That's the angle that you want. Oh right, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think you can hear my baby C brights in the background. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <clears throat> that seems to be moving the material quite nicely, Andy. I've started them off now. 
Yeah, see, but Andy had already cut out, basically cut out the shape and done a bit of work on it before <coughs> before he started the live. Yes, Eva, he did answer you. Um, and yes, it is the, the baby chucks. Mm-hmm. Looks like we've got a, a nasty crack right at the elbow there on his right arm. Um, <coughs> Barry's asking if you're still going to be live on Monday evening, Andy. No, he's not going to be live on Monday evening. Mike's asking, has anyone seen a newish Turner channel called Mustard Peace? He's making some really arty stuff. I'm sure I've stuck to him. Just give it a couple of seconds for the glue to set. Yeah. I could see that one going as well. Aye. Uh -huh. It started to move. I was like, oh, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to, before I carry on, I'll just deal with it now. Yeah, preemptive strike. Yeah. I think I've actually got to carve into that bit, which is going to be annoying, but. At least I know. It's, it's such a weird... Because of the photograph, it's a weird angle yeah. to, tr to try and do. Do you see what I mean? Uh, so it's kind of trying to get the proportions right for the reality that this is a, like a 3D model rather than a 2D model. But yeah. then to that, the same as... The photograph is wow it's it's fun 
but that's why I do it. You keep me entertained. Right. Oh, Barry's saying how long's of, how long have the pubs been open? He's already seen a drunken punch up this afternoon. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, that was to be expected. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mike's saying the shape of the, the sculpture is really good, Andy. Thanks, mate. It's getting there. <coughs> oh, <coughs> face full of dust. <coughs> I didn't mute myself then either. Sorry about that. What are you saying? Right, let's go back to mutey mutey. Steve's ordered some of those uh, carbon bits, Andy. I must have a look at them. Barry's letting everybody know that he's not good enough for a live, plus he hasn't got a setup to do a live. Eva said, I think Andy Lakes are quiet, to which Mike has returned. Well, he hasn't got much hope with us, Lord Eva. Oh, David's saying he's soon going to be up and set up. <coughs> Sorry, I'll start again on that one. He'll be up and running for a, soon for a live. And Mark has said to Barry, eh, don't be hard on yourself. I've seen your work. It's awesome. But you do need a tripod. <laughs> eh, Eva said to David, eh, yes, David. Eh, she's looking forward to that. <coughs> to which David has thanked her. And Steve from SK Crafts has given Barry some um, <laughs> some encouragement, let's say, by seeing his work crap. <laughs> oh, I'm back now, guys. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Thomas was traumatised. All right. My, my brother is an artist, um, and he's done, he's done me various oil paintings and stuff you know and thomas threw the dog ball and it knocked one off 
and smash All the glass. Right. So, um, it's just the glass that's smashed. It's this, it hasn't cut the actual canvas or anything like that. So, just the frame. <laughs> it shit happens when you've got dogs. Well, you know, it's it, it's okay as long as I'm told it's fine. Accidents happen, and no one was hurt. So, you know. Barry will be right back. He's just off to watch Dandelion's premiere. See you in about 15, Barry. Right, there's a piece of information I didn't know. Jim Kelly, that was um, the black guy in Enter the Dragon. Got the car, got the part because Bruce Lee could close people's eyes before he could block them in a demonstration. And Jim Kelly uh, was the only person to block him, so he got the part. I think Steve from SK Crafts is still getting a bit of a beast in about light pulls. Andy, you've been going just over an hour. Steve doesn't really need to buy a light pole driver. Um, he's got a, a metal turner layer that you can just make yourself one. No, Steve, you've got no hope of that. Especially with Scott, he'll just keep on going. What's this light pull? What, what have I missed? 
No, oh, everybody's uh, sorry. A few people are getting on at Steve again about doing light pulls. Okay. Light pulls are easy, aren't they? Yeah, but the thing is, Nicky wanted some light pulls, and Steve, Steve never done a light pull, so everybody was getting on at him to do light pulls, and he did one the other day, and they're still getting on at him to do light pulls. So, Mike, again, about Into the Dragon, Samo Huang was uh, the Shaolin monk that uh, Bruce fights at the start of Enter, and a young Jackie Chan was also an extra. I think um, also as well, about that, Mike will probably be able to correct me on this if I'm wrong, the young guy that um, Bruce was given the tuition to just after the first fight, um, he went on to do a couple of movies as well, I think. Uh, and it's giving him a short back and sides now. No, oh, he's. So what we're working on, guys, at the moment, I know Steve's working on a light pool, isn't he? Yes, Mike, the finger pointing to the moon guy. Uh, no, either. I had to pop into the kitchen to get me bottle.
Yeah, I thought he did make. I can't remember his name either. Uh, no, Eva. That was me closing one of the doors because I forgot to mute. <coughs> I was just going to say, where's Andy gone? Hey. Hello. Hey, everybody. I said hi. Cheryl says hi, guys. Oh, hi, hi guys. Cheryl. Wayne says hi to you, too. Hey, darling. Oh, that's hot. So, Andy, are you planning on finish this today in the two hours, or or you're going to um, finish it on your next live? I don't know if you missed it, uh, Richard, but um, and he's not doing a live on Monday night now. <laughs> yeah, he did say something um, over Messenger earlier, but I did ask him if he's going to change it to Saturdays now and not do Mondays, but... Uh, I think he was too busy. No. I think it's I think it's to to do with work as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. With him coming in from work and everything, trying to get set up, and obviously the the um, there's the baby to think of as well. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. It makes sense. And to be honest, there's no one that does a live between six and eight on a Saturday, anyway, is there? Unless uh, the tiny turner. Yes, there is. Yeah, oh, okay. Emma does. Yeah. Um, Emma is on tonight. Okay, what time does she start then? Oh, she started. Um, our live stream started around about six, and that's just her chatting to people. Uh, the okay. turn and started half past six. Oh, right, okay. There's one there for you, Richard, to let Cheryl know from Larry. Uh, hi, Cheryl. You know we have missed you on the lives. Who's that? From Larry. Hey, Larry. Uh, yeah, Mike so is seeing um, Vivi Days' is premiering just now as well. That's um, Sharon Lindley. Unfortunately. I just want to go back down to the madhouse. <laughs>
Yeah, you're right there, Mark. Mark's just said he's really enjoying watching this perfect Saturday evening view, in, in his opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mark, I would agree. Yep, totally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can understand that, Larry. <laughs> Larry's just said, with all these lives going on, um, he, he doesn't get much done. It, it is 8 p.m. for us over here, but it's 2, 2 p.m. for him. That's the problem, um, really, isn't it? When uh, our American friends are watching there, you know, it's afternoon for us, it's after tea and all that. Uh, but for them, it's like middle of the day. It's not. Yeah, even, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure time. I've asked this. I'm, I'm sure I've asked Larry this before. I've asked uh, um, another oh, one that? of the American guys. I think is there nobody over there in the states actually doing lives in the evening, Larry? I think you've only got Zach Higgins, haven't you? That does it on a Friday evening. Uh, yeah, Zach does it on a Friday. See, there, there might be loads and loads and loads of them, it's just that I don't know them. Yeah, it'd be nice to find out, wouldn't it? You know. Yeah, come to think it, it would be pretty difficult to um, for me to just keep, you know. That's why I stopped doing the um, lunchtime lives because it does just clean ones. Yeah, couldn't do it. It's just too much. Yeah, um, but I'm in the well. I'm in. I'm in a different position to you, Rich, which is why I'm able to do them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, John. Uh, John Pierre over in Canada does uh, does one or two. Uh, but um, I think that tends to get taken over, <laughs> and he ends, he ends up not getting anything done.
So Larry's saying the, the maker community over here is not the same as there. It seems it's not as friendly, but there is a lot of guys that put out videos on a weekly basis. Um, I know Jeff Hornung, although he didn't do one on Wednesday, Jeff Hornung has been doing some lives um, on a Wednesday evening after me. Um, but they, t they tend to be on his Facebook page. They, they don't tend to be on YouTube. And for those of you who don't know him, that's Jeff Hornung from the Walnut Log. Yeah, I follow a few guys, uh, magnet fishing guys, that uh, only do videos on Instagram and Facebook. Right. So Mark's saying, now I've broken my duck, which means uh, he's done a couple of lives now. Uh, he'd like to do more, but he needs earworms and headphones first. Um, you don't necessarily need earworms, Mark. Uh, I thought what you were doing today was, was pretty good because you were explaining stuff as you go along. Yes, earworms do help, uh, help keep you informed of what's going on in the chat. I'm sure that, uh, you know, a few of us will come and help you out once in a while, Mark. You've only got to ask. Um, and we... Well, I, and, I, I was in there. Mark, Mark was a bit worried about um, some trolls coming in today, and I know who he's talking about. Yeah, so, oh, yes. Uh, I, I went in as, uh, as moderator. Um, yeah. He put me as moderator of the day. So he knows how to make people moderator. Um the earworm thing, uh, I know um, Deal's talked about this before, but I, I run OBS, but I run it through um, StreamYard. Yeah. So I can still change my camera angles and um, zoom in and stuff like this with OBS, but I still have the, um, the earworms in through StreamYard. And to be honest, we, we're not that expensive, are we, Dave, uh, um, Wayne? We only charge. No, no. I mean, I, no. I'm, 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 I'm on a hundred pounds an hour at the moment, so yeah, you know, it's pretty not, reasonable. That's cheap. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll do for ninety pound an hour. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keith said he's wanting to get into doing lives. His workshop's nearly presentable, just need the EV set up. And there's, there's another problem, he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, but you know about turning no keys. That's, that's the main part. See, when I first started doing lives, I think I'm on the, oh, I counted them recently. I'm on about 60 lives that I've got in so far. Um, it was quite nerve wracking because it's, there's nothing, you, I mean, what will happen will happen there and then. Um, no matter how much you plan things, things go wrong once in a while. But that's the beauty of it, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I try to, um, for, for the lives I do, I, okay, I'm doing three a week, um, but for the lives I do, I try and get them planned out so the lunchtime ones last an hour. Yeah. And then the evening, although I don't I, I don't think I've ever gone to two hours, but I, I'll leave a two-hour slot for the, the Wednesday evening one. Yeah. Yeah, that's your main live, though, isn't it? Your yeah, the Wednesday slot. evening one, yeah. Uh -huh. Mark saying he was really shaking today. Yeah, he saw it on the playback. I thought you did absolutely brilliant, Mark. Well, I'll have to go and have a look because I didn't. 
And the good thing was, um, you, yeah, you did your pens on your on your first life, which was good. Uh, but this life, it was a nice. Um, it was a nice, easy project that you could explain about as you were going along, uh, and that worked really well. And Barry Saint Mark there, he did really well as well. Uh, Keith saying he's not worried about the turn inside. He's done. I think he means lots of demos of clubs. <coughs> Sometimes it's not what you're doing. It's um, it's just you know. I mean, if you've done demos and things like that, then it's okay but when you're first getting into it it's knowing that there's a lot of people watching and you don't really have much control out of over um if something goes wrong <laughs> well hi uh -huh. and you've got to think quickly you know Mark's in. He's hoping his teacher chin will help with that side of things. He just needs to know what he's talking about. <laughs> so the blue light turner. <laughs> so Scott says the difference is, Dad, everybody in a live here watches. Uh, not the wrinklies that fall asleep at club. <laughs> I've never been to a wood turning club, so I'm not sure. I mean, I'd imagine you've got like a load of lathes set out in that. Well, no, it, it, my wood turning club, we've, um, we've got one lathe. It's the same lathe that, that I use, uh, the Axminster lathe. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they have meetings where it's basically just a meeting and a chat and everything, but once a month they have a, a demonstrator in. Um, but like the majority of uh, wood turning clubs, um, there are very few young people. Yeah. So Eva saying she loves the crack in the wood, and in Japanese it means wisdom, and they should be, I don't know what that's meant to be, with golden milliput. I don't know if you can get golden milliput, to tell you the truth, Eva. I've never seen golden milliput. I've seen golden um, uh, Fimo, but that's oven bake, isn't it? Yeah, what you? you've got white, you've got black, you've got terracotta, you've got turquoise, and I think there's two other colours in the millipod range. I think there's six colours at the moment in the millipod range. Hmm. All mended, oh, you mean filled in, Eva. Okay, I'm with you now. I don't know if you can colour it. Um, Jim was talking about that last weekend. I'm not too sure if you can or you can't. He, I'm sure he said it was uh, difficult.
it's uh, taking shape, Andy. Right, that's just gone half past seven, Andy. You can't rush through this sort of thing, can you? To be honest. Well, no, you can't. Uh, but it's just nice to give him a time check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's only going for two hours, isn't he? Uh, and just see when it's finished. Yeah, uh, thanks for that, Mark. Uh, he says he thinks Jim said you can colour it, but it makes a hell of a mess and it isn't consistent. Yeah, he was saying it's a challenge to make those hands. You brave Andy. Yeah, uh -huh. especially with the way this wood's working out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's quite a big grain, isn't it? Or should I say... Oh, Doug's here. I never saw Doug come in either. Oh, yeah. Hey, Doug. And Doug says, well, out of curiosity, was Andy carving on his fingers again? Um, he never actually mentioned that, but I, I did actually see earlier on that he's got a plaster on. Hmm. Hi, Doug. Happy uh, 4th of July to you guys as well over there, in, over the pond. Hope you're having a, a good day. Um. I know it's probably hard to at the moment with all the idiots over there. But, uh, we've got those idiots over here too. <laughs> or should I say July 4th? Because I know the Americans don't like saying the, uh, the date before the month, do they? <laughs> Isn't it May the 4th <coughs> with you, not the 4th? Eva, Eva, that's the wrong month. You see that in May, not in July. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're nice trying to receive any day. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Larry, yes, it is. You said a mouthful there. <laughs> Mark, seeing he can get away with saying that, he's still an American citizen. All oh, right. 
I can't remember where you said you lived now, Mark. Was it Florida or somewhere like that? Oh, Doug's on the ghost pepper hot sauce. We have 15 thumbs up and 17 watching, Andy. Well, one, one of the reasons there isn't another thumbs up is because I'm watching on StreamYard, not on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mark was based in Virginia. Ah. I'd love to take Cheryl over to the US next year, you know, for a holiday. But I'm not sure she'd get her medication in the country. Uh, you'd probably have to stock up before you go. She would. She would, yeah. But uh her medication is it's a control substance in this country but i don't I, I don't know if you can actually take it into the us right um <coughs> there there would probably be certain states you can get it in it really all depends on the state you're in i would think So Scott has called Mark a deported American citizen, hmm. and Mark has returned with, um, technically he was only deported from Canada, the USA let, let them back in. Larry saying, Rich, if you do make it over, uh, he would like to meet you guys in person. Where are you from, Larry? I'm sure you've told me before, but I've forgotten. <coughs> yeah, that'd be really cool. I'd like to go and um, go and see Dougie as well. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they, um, yeah, the was already mentioned that. It's not Tiny Tina either. It's Tiny Turner. It's Emma. She started at half past six.
Well, Larry's in Missouri, right in the middle of the US. Right. And Doug, Doug is up in Michigan. Doug saying he wants to go to the big rocks and see if he can get abducted. <laughs> Fucked up into the air. <laughs> no, I, I, can't, I can't see that happening. Not with Doug. The take one look no. at Doug and see it. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, Doug, I know I said it correctly. See, I was told off by Dougie because I used to call it Michigan. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So Mark saying Alaska and Hawaii are the uh, are the only two states he never got to. Mike saying abduction is not all it's cracked up to be, Doug. That's probably because they make you do metal work, Mike. <laughs> See, that's the problem, Mark. Alaska is too cold and Hawaii is too hot. Alaska's quite warm during the summer. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> They've got porcupines in Alaska. Oh, right. Larry saying that Mark's been to more states than he has. He's been to all but six of the 48. Uh, Mark travelled all over the states because uh, his mum and dad were professional dog handlers. So they went to dog shows everywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, he was saying Alaska isn't too cold. Uh, you're not living in the Middle Ages, or you don't live in the Middle Ages, do you, Rich? I think that was a dig, Rich. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mike's saying he can't wait to get back to woodwork. Metalwork sucks without the milling machine. I saw a milling machine for sale in Penrith the other day, Mike, a uh, bridge port for 1500 quid, which is uh, not a bad price for a bridge, bridge port. Uh, Eva, a milling machine is for metal work. Uh, 
That's looking really good, Andy. Just go and call the end, Andy. Who's that? Who's that gone live? DIY Dark, is it? Where's that? Who? What have I missed? Um, David McLaren, uh, lots of lives going on. Can't keep up. Dark is live now. That's okay. Just stay here with us. <laughs> yeah, they've got grizzlies up there, haven't they, in Alaska? I used to watch that Alaskan bush people, um, which is quite entertaining, but it just became really fake. I watched a few of the Alaskan ones. Mark saying uh, to Andy, you're truly taking shape, Andy. Uh, love the abs. Uh, Doug says, I think at this stage you should change direction and call that Paul now, Andy. Tell you what, on that note, I'm going to stop there. Um, okay. I uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there. Um, thanks very much, guys. Uh, appreciate um, the That's earworms. Okay. Um, I will not be doing a Monday live. Um, Hopefully, if I can, I'll do a Tuesday lunchtime. Um, and, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens um, on the lunchtime live. I might finish this if I don't between now and then. Um, so there he is before you see him next. It's looking Got good. I've got quite a bit got uh, gone. There's still loads to do on it. Um, still a good couple of hours at least. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, thanks ever so much. Good. You've got you've got the, the tw you've got the twist on the torso. Uh, yeah, that was kind of cool with the grain. Yeah. So um, hmm. looks good. Yeah, it's it's getting there. So are you going to go uh, live every Saturday now then at this time? Or it... Yeah. You're not going to do Mondays? Um, I might do Mondays. Um, oh, okay. I might. It depends. If yeah. I'm if I'm up for it, uh, I'll uh, give it a go on Monday. If I'm not, then I won't. Depends. To yeah. be fair, my uh, my audience carving is very different to everybody else. Wood turning and so on. So, chances are, if people are watching me live, it's part of the little uh, groups that we have. So, um, I'm going to try and start advertising more to the carving groups. So, if I just randomly pop one up every now and then. Um, yeah. It's not meant to go over anybody's live. It's just I'm aiming for a different audience than um, our collective group. So I apologise if that crosses over anybody. No, it shouldn't do. I was just saying, I was just asking that so people, you know, who are probably going to ask it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks ever so much, All guys. Right. See you later. Take it easy, folks. Bye. Night, everybody.